How's it going, everyone? I have been speedrunning Super Rift Bros 3 for the past little while now, and I submit it to GDQ. Ryukar actually has the world record, and his world record is probably about 14 minutes faster than my PB right now. This is my brand new PB. I just came back. I had a 46. I ended up getting a 44 today, and that's what we're going to watch right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the run, and I'm going to try and comment and talk about uh, everything that I'm doing, but also some of the new things that I'm trying to do, some of the more optimizations to try and bop the Ryu car. So I think we should just um, start watching right now, and uh, I can tell you what's going on. Let's jump in. No, I guess the run starts right here. Right on. Okay. So, as you can see, I previously have a 46-45. That's okay. That kind of beats my... I think that beats my previous PB. I, when I played this game like a, like a year ago or something, I got a 46. So, I'm not sure if this is better than that or not. But anyways, to the run. Uh, level 1 seems pretty good. I do do a new optimization coming up right here. I jump on the thing and then I go across right away. And that sets these guys up perfectly with the little cannonballs. That is a time save over the world record. I'm not sure how much it saves, but that is one of the new optimizations we're adding in. So technically, I am ahead of world record right now in this level. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see in the overworld, you have a Piranha Plant level and a Hammer Brother. Those are required for 100%. Um, here, I don't think I do anything special to get my hill strats. There's nothing else. There's a cool cycle break here. If you just fall straight down, boom, that's not flipping. Um, if you swim down like slowly, by the time you get there, it'll start flipping. So it's like a cool little speed strat. I really like that section. Let's see, you get P speed. Um, yeah, pretty normal. That would be pretty normal to the world record. That's uh, not much has changed there. And I'm not even really trying to do anything special for that part just yet. Uh, so this is your first take of the Piranha Plant level. If you guys haven't seen it, it's kind of just like a trial level. It's almost like a hand level. Um, but I try and do a little sub-pixel manipulation right there. And uh, I do it because at the start of the next level, there is another optimization that I can do. And that's get a wall jump right here. <sighs> Didn't get it though. Didn't get it. If I do a wall jump, I skip all of this. This little swimming section. And then I land right here over the wall. So I skip that whole little section. World record does not have that. Um, so I've been trying to get... I've been trying to get something going on for that. Um, normal swim here. Main objective is to get under that. And a nice swim. There you go. Um, if I remember correctly, I got flubbed up by these patui cycles. That's what those plants are called. They're called patuis. So normally you want them to go one, two, then three. And, you know, that's how I was ready. But when I came out of the pipe, he did one, two instead of one, two, three. Kind of flubbed me around right there. This guy's easy to one cycle. He does the same thing. This is the scariest part because it's just so close and, like, ugh, I barely cut it. And this is the scariest fish of all time. And, yeah, that's it. So I want to get the wall jump to save time in this level. If I get the wall jump then I can save time in level 1 and 2 with those, or sorry, 1 and the level 3 with the optimizations. That would probably give me a solid 5, maybe 6 second lead on the world record at this point, which is pretty heavy. I mean, being able to save a few seconds in the first world already on top of WR is, is really good. Okay, this worked out pretty good. I've learned that he's always going to shoot, so wait for his cycle. All right, I really like this fortress. This is one of my favorite levels. One of them. It's not the favorite level. I do have a favorite. All right, so you want to jump to the right, so he bops to the right, and then you just do some casual one twos. Boom, done. Um, much like other Mario three games, that Hammer Brothers position is obviously important. The further away he is, the more it's costing us. But I don't think in this game's case, it's really all that that bad. So world one, I haven't died yet, which is really good. That's um, that's some really good signs for like world record grinds or speed running and stuff like that. Um, getting no deaths. Uh, I didn't get all the speed strats. I got one of them. I didn't get the wall jump. So even on my splits right now, I know I can save a little bit of time as long as I don't die. And uh, I love the airships in this game because they're just little tiny airships, but they're airships. Look at them. It looks cool. Really well designed. Okay, here's my next time save. The world record patiently waits, obviously, for the, the boss to come over instead of risking all these spikes here. Boom, right there. Okay. 354.67. So I think I should be able to, on a standard run, like if I get my time saves, I think 
I can save only an additional maybe f five seconds. A really good run. I'm looking at uh, sub 350. That I think that would be. I think that'd be a pretty uh, good gold goal to go for. So, so I'm not pretty good. We can fast forward a little bit. I think here. There you go into the first level. You didn't get a chance to see the map though, but we'll, we'll, you'll get you'll get to see it after. Little shell jump there. World record does that as well. That's fine. That's fine. That's always so scary, that jump. Same as world record. Here's one change. The record grabs the shell. I managed to get a jump right over. Um, that will save time on the world record as well. Um, not a huge breakdown going on right now, right, guys? Because I, I haven't messed up or died yet, which is actually coming up next level. So, spoiler alert. And I got the upper decker right into the top pipe. That's what I, I call it, the upper decker when you hit the... I don't know why it's weird. But it, it flows. It's, it's funny. Okay, so this ham this world's got Hammer Brothers 2 with water tiles. So this level is my first this gave me trouble level. So as you can see, I do really well. Cycles are good and everything. Uh, wait for the bullet. I actually almost just died there. Wait for the bullet. Okay, break that. Then we go right through. All right, we pop that. And then this is the coolest part. We use the little micro Goombas here. And they become like weights. You get like really heavy with them. But... I hopped, I hopped too soon. So what happened there was I jumped too early and the flying beetle wasn't more to the left. I needed him more to the left. So I should have delayed my jump just a couple frames and I probably would have made it. So that's pretty good. <sighs> that bullet jump is scary because the windows, the, the gap's so small, you have to anticipate it a lot faster. It's, uh, it's weird. Okay, do the same thing. I don't know if I nailed it this try or if I died again. That's right, I did die again. So I was frustrated there because it didn't act like a weight, right? Um, and I think what happened was is I thought that I had tapped lightly, but I don't think I did. I think I pressed a little too hard. So add that to my uh, practice notes to make sure, make a conscious effort to jump low there. Um, everything else seems pretty smooth. I seem to be nailing things. I can mess up almost anything in this level, but for this run specifically, I think everything's going good. All right, Micro Goombas. Uh, we got it this time, right? Boom, boom, yeah, run, run, boom, okay. It looks so easy when you do it, but as when you see the mistakes, you're like, I can see what can go wrong there, so. That was actually not so bad. Right on. Okay, fought the Hammer Brother early, which is good, but I mean, it's not that good because I shouldn't have died that many times. Uh, it worked out nicely. We get a cloud. This is 100%, so... I don't need the cloud, but I kind of need the cloud. You'll, you'll see later. This level, I'm really good at, but I'm also really bad at for some reason. Um, I've got a lot of consistent methods for getting myself through it. It always seems like when I go through it and complete it, I'm super safe. And then, ah, uh, just... So what happened is, there I threw it obviously too early. And I used the concrete blocks above those two... Or above that line of, uh, well, I guess it would be the jellyfish, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not there. Uh, hopefully I get it this attempt so we can, we can see it. Yeah, those concrete right there and then boom, yep, throw it. Do kind of a turn back, avoid it. You have to be there in time or else it won't pop that question. There's a little skip there. Right through. Very fast paced level. That's pretty easy. The rest is pretty easy. Just, just those shell shots. The, uh... Those are the hardest, I'd say, in this level. But not too bad, not too bad. And then I do a cool little trick here with a perfect duck jump, and you actually, the last frame, you get out of there. You don't actually get hit with the uh, the extra damage. Sadly, it doesn't do anything for us. Uh, the way the next level works, um, I get the damage boost. That's the best I get. I, You know, normally, I would have to do a turn back there, so. And then here's the, uh, these doors are so strange. So, like, if I run it back just a little bit and see if you guys... Look at my D-pad right now. Look at my up on my D-pad, right? I don't know. I get... Like, it did actually kind of look a little delayed there, didn't it? It looked a little delayed. Maybe I should uh, speed up the way I press. I mean, I am failing there. I think I, I think I screw up again. Oh, no, I got it that time. Okay, okay. I think I have to press it early. I think I have to go in, like, the top section of the... Uh, of the door i think that's i think that's the strat and then there's the bottom like <laughs> dude like this much of my head was in the pixel and i got it so the doors are very sensitive 
And uh, I'll be very upset if we have bad doors in Mario 3, because I give Super Mario World so much shit. I love this boss battle, by the way. It's so cool. Like, when I make ROM hacks, I don't even think of that kind of thing, right? Having the enemies and whenever you destroy them, much like uh, Hammer Brother battles. It's essentially the same thing, so it's really cool. All right, World 3 is actually World 6, and this is one of my favorite worlds. I really enjoy this. This level is impossible, you guys. This is a very advanced mario 3 player level i guess is the best way to put it if i use a star at the beginning of this level um i can actually do some really good uh cycle skips and what i mean by that is i can kill him with the star and literally just go as fast as i want and as long as i keep killing him before the star runs out um you can, i can get to the other cycles a lot faster but i need my stars and you'll see why so I got trolled there, the level was moving down, I couldn't actually jump into the two tile, or the one tile, sorry, because as it's moving down, it, the window closes. This is a really cool concept. Oh, that's so cool, man. I don't think I'd ever think of doing something like this as a strat, right? Boom, look at that, oh, it's so cool, man, I love this, I love this game so much. So I was a little patient there, I probably could have went on the first jump, but I made it through. If I beat this level without dying, I won't complain. Like, I even took this part a little safe. I think this level was a lot shorter than, or sorry, a lot uh, slower than the world record. I think Ryukar got through on like a 222 or something, which is still a long time, but oh, okay. Shh. <sighs> that level just is so scary. All right. Uh, next level is, again, probably within the top five favorite levels. It just, it just flows really smooth. Doesn't mean I'm going to be good at it, though. It's got a really nice flow to it. Uh, let's see. I love this part. Shot, duck, duck, jump, turn back. Really cool. And then you see that? I clipped the block, man. But I think there was there was an attempt where I survived getting past that thwomp. So there's potential to save the run if you break that block. So I think that'll be pretty good. Right now, with all my strategies that I've been trying... And if I didn't die, I would be ahead of the world record probably by close to 10 to 15 seconds, which is very big in the early world worlds. Oh, right there, right there. Let's see that again. That was really cool. Definitely use that as a backup because anything's better than dying. So I jumped like... <laughs> what? Look at that. That doesn't make any sense, but I survived. So if I would have done a turn back right there and shot... I would have survived, but I didn't, you know, I didn't notice that, that I was doing it, but I get a little excited. I think this level gave me a lot of trouble this run. I think this is where one of my big time saves are. Um, oh, wait, no, I take that back. I'm sorry. I died uh, a bunch in the second world too. So if I didn't die, um, I'd be ahead of the world record with my strats. Yeah, yeah, no, maybe that is right. 15, maybe 20 seconds. Yeah, not so bad. All right. All right, level. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, I hate that too. I tried to grab it, and because I didn't grab it, I still pressed the B button to grab it, which means here comes the fireballs. <laughs> Dude, the Hammer Brothers doing the same thing that he did in World, what was it, World Two, where I died so many times that I fought him early. Dude, Rift Bros is the new early Hammer Bros. All right, pretty good. Nice, nice, okay, let's go. No messing around. All right, I think here I do a saving cheese. No, nope, I just completely missed it. Damn, big time saves in this level. Okay, so so you guys already know that I got a PB of uh, 44, and God, how much time have I lost in this level so far? Already a minute and a half? Oh no, it just keeps going. Okay, so big time save in this world. I'm excited for that. Yeah, there's the hammer, brother. <laughs> Don't judge me. We have got lots to learn. This is what the breakdown's for, right? I really need to watch and uh, judge myself here. I think that because I enjoy this level and, it, and it's got this flow feel, sometimes I think that I have to do it that way. And... At this point, I've died so many times in the level that just simply taking it slow and not dying w would be infinitely better here. 
It will look sick, but I think learning it first should be a bigger objective. Like, obviously I know how to do it and that's how I'm able to do it fast, but like really doing it smooth, you know? Confident in all of my tricks. And then I think I can start doing it pretty quick. All right, let's go world. No more deaths, come on. First thing I do is die, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so uh, I know exactly why I died there and a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm new to this speed run. So I don't have that um, automatic, I know exactly what I'm doing every second of the run like I do with Mario 3. So I still enter levels sometimes and I'm like, where am I, what am I doing? Right, like you enter this level and you instantly just fall from a pipe. Like you really have to remember what you're doing to uh, catch that fall. Right, this one's another one of my favorite levels. This is why I like this world so much. It's got some good levels. Just that boss bass level is not eh, too good. Nice, right on. I I remember I gave this level a lot of practice a couple nights ago. Like really, you know, kept dying, kept trying. You know, anytime I had a good consistent strat, I was always like, nope, make it more consistent, you know, don't stop. That's why I'm very comfortable with this level, boom. If you don't have this level well practiced, I can guarantee you'll be stuck like how, <laughs> just like my last level, that's exactly how. <sighs> okay, so I'm still ahead. Like this run is still really good. Got that nice gold in world one. I can see that I'm losing time. Okay, concept of this level is really good. But I think what makes this level the hardest is the second you don't remember what's coming up, like the second you forget to do a very specific input, you, you've lost, right? Like here, boom, you gotta know that that's right there. If you don't remember perfectly, uh, that'll get you because it's not just about turning into the statue, but also managing your flying correctly, right? If I don't do it right, I won't fly up there, you know, it's horrible. And one cool thing that this hack does is that when you kill Boom Booms, you don't get orbs and you don't do end cutscene or anything. It just instantly ends. And I think that's pretty good. That allows you to have more creative Boom Boom battles, I think, because you can have damage boosts in them or spikes or very specific tricks. And then as long as you kill the Boom Boom and he flashes and explodes, it's over. All right. Get my Sodi Pop. Coke Gaming. Oh, wow. I learned in the previous run that if I kill the fire bros on this airship, I have no trouble whatsoever. All right, do the one bounce, do the two bounce, boom. It seems so easy, but these spikes, they're so scary. They're very scary. All right, so compared to my last run, I lost a minute and 39 seconds, which can all be saved from those deaths. And in my PB before I got this PB, so what I'm going up against, I died a couple times as well. So I think all in all, there's almost two and a half minutes just from World 3 where I can save time. And then there's easily another two, two and a half, maybe three minutes to save in World 2. Because if I just don't die, that's less Hammer Brother movements. The momentum's not shot. Some of the deaths were near the end of the level. It's just a nightmare. This is my favorite level. So we're going to watch it in awe. Go back, grab. Each of these munchers are really scary. Right here, this mun that muncher is the worst, right? I can't just hold uh, right and jump up. I have to I have to neutral jump then when I pass the muncher. Here, I get ready, go, boom. You can tell I'm very comfortable with this level. I practice it a lot. But I wanna practice it, right? Because I, it's really fun, really fun level. Some of his best work in this level. Boom, I love it. Really good level, nothing to say there, no comment. No comment. Ryukar gets it too as well. Like He's really, really good at this game, so. Um, he put up a very good record. He did die a couple times, so on top of... As long as I don't die, I'll get the world record no matter what. Um, but not dying, I think, is going to be pretty hard. This level is... I'm very topsy-turvy, man, with this level. I'm, I'm wishy-washy. Like, like, I like boot levels. They're really fun. But, God, it's the, the windows are so tight here. I think I get... Right? I touch the wall, but don't get it. Like, your leeway is so small. And of course, right now I'm doing the Kaizo touch where you like make fun of the level or you trash. It's just trash Kaizo talk. Every Kaizo player does it, right? Like if I die to a Kaizo trick in a level, I'm like, worst level in the game. Like why did he even create it? But like, I don't mean it. It's <laughs> Kaizo trash talk. It makes us feel better. All right. So here's what it looks like 
when you get it. See how tight that is? But it looks like it's not tight. It is. Uh, other than that, though, the level's great. I love this level. You get the pop, pop, pop. You get your air jumps. And yes, in the vanilla game, the Goomba Shoe does uh, get a mid-air jump. Here you have to pop off the ledge first. Then you get it. And then... I almost didn't make that. That was scary. That was almost a really big time save. Nice level, though. Nice level. There's only one part in this video that I'm going to skip. And it's the airship in this world. I'm going to show you... Pretty much what it is and then i'm going to show you why dying in it is the worst thing you could possibly do and then we'll get to the the attempt where i beat it um, so this level is interesting and so far in this world um ryukar died in the second level and so did i so we're both pretty much in terms of this world at the same spot uh this level is really cool with the p switches boom all your time stuff, but I have a really big problem with how much you need to do turnbacks. Um, with with being a speedrunner, I want to be super flowy with everything. I don't want to do all these turnbacks, but you have to do these turnbacks for some of the tricks. And it's just like a very, it's a very wavy kind of speedrun level, which I'm not used to. There's something like that would, doesn't normally happen in our speedruns, so it feels wrong to me. It was the longest level for me to learn, believe it or not. All the other levels were easier, and that was, was the hardest for me. And I think because it goes against my whole nature and learning of speedrunning. This, you get the pause strats. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And it saves a lot of time there because uh, I, I skip a cycle. I'm not active for one of the cycles, so I switch the whole thing up. Pressing pause, the munchers still go in and out of the pipes, so they don't affect you. And this, my PB right now... If I did everything the same in this run, but I didn't die on this airship, my PB would probably be like a 39 or something. Probably not, but I hope it is. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's take a look. So, let's see. Um, so you have this. So first thing to note is that this the mechanics on this airship are the exact same as the Air Force in World 8 and Mario 3. And for those of you who don't know, the Air Force gives you different momentum and different mechanics. Mario is controlled differently, only in that fortress. Anytime you have the advanced um, scrolling of an auto-scroller, Mario's physics actually change. So this is already hard enough, plus the change in physics. So the first thing I get, and I fall through the, I fall through it. I'm so sad, I'm so upset right now. I got the Kaizo rage, because look, when you die, you have to, you have to go back through the pipes. No, the ship, the ship flies around. Look, not only am I dying, but now I'm going back through the world. It is such a massive time loss. You do not want to die on it. All right, so I come in again. Okay, so the screws, that's fine. No Kaizos. I'm not dodging any Kaizo blocks. There is a Kaizo at the end, though. The end screw's got a Kaizo right in the middle of it. Makes it really hard. Four, five, six, seven. Jump. Yep, do the wraparound. So... Like I said before, ugh, and then I die, right? Um, but like I said before, the momentum's different. The way, like, how much I need to press left and right for Mario to move left and right is different than, than the way it is normally. And that's because the auto-scroll speed. The auto-scroll speed really changes it. So it's really messing with me. It's far from what I'm used to. The Air Force in Mario 3 is like this, but it doesn't really affect us. It's so easy and just straightforward. But I've already lost easily, like, a minute and a half, right? Just from those two deaths. From traversing through all the pipes okay i made it i'm kind of stoked right now i'm not losing too much time you know i got this i got this okay that was so close but i made it i made it come on one two three four boom hit the kaizo oh my god okay so let's let's just scroll through all the tunnels okay i think i die again nope ah, i nailed it nice okay so here's the battle oh yeah watch this i think i got i think it gets no, okay, this one's fine. It was my last PB where, like, I almost died from him. It was, it was incredible. All right. So I'm still three minutes ahead. But if I didn't die, I'd probably be, like, six minutes ahead right now. Right? I'd definitely be six minutes ahead. Probably a little bit more than that. Sorry, guys. I, I finished my stream a couple hours ago. I'm just... It's really late at night, and I'm just, uh, you know watching this i think it's great my eyes are a little tired all right so world eight what do we got going on in world eight here 
Okay, yes. Oh, the starting jump in this level always triggers me. But I got it that time, so that's good. And then my A. So what happened there was I thought I had pressed A, but I bet I pressed A before my feet touched the ground. Right? It's really hard to notice the difference between one to three frames, right? It's really hard to notice. Okay, got up there. I, ch I go neutral so that I get the same result for that every time. Pretty good. Stomp him. Go. Go. Dude, this grab block. I always have so much trouble with that grab block. I have a lot of trouble. I really need to go and uh, really take a look, kind of give it a good practice. That's the jump, man. That jump is really hard. Uh, I don't think... So I don't think Ryukar died in this level, and I don't think he died in the next level or the next level. I don't think he died in uh, World 8, and I think that's very important. So as you guys can see with my deaths, there's a big, big time save here. We got lots and lots of time save. I think that's very exciting. Um, right on, right on. Yeah, that, what was that, right? So what happened there is that I, I didn't hold over enough um, after hitting the beetle. So with my slow momentum by not holding forward enough, uh, I activated the spiny, and I didn't have enough momentum to really get past them fast enough. So You got one of those unfortunate momentum deaths. Right, well, it seems like I'm getting a little bit better at grabbing that, definitely. So watch, I'm going to do better momentum here. Just... Psh. Okay, I take that back. The attempt that I'm successful is definitely going to be the one that I learned from. Boom, boom. Alright. Go up. Very nice. Okay, boom, boom, nice, nailed it. Good clean jumps. I practice this level, so I'm pretty good at it now. I'm li I shouldn't be dying, but they're like new little things to pick and pick up and clean on. So, and then that jump. I don't even know why that one worked. I really need to go and uh, kind of use like a star or a power up and and kill that little um, spiny there and really test that jump. Keep going back and forth, trying it here and there. I shouldn't be failing um, just something as simple as a jump. There's no Kaizos there or anything, so. Um, but I was going to mention that when you do practice and, and everything goes perfectly, you tend not to fix things that aren't broken. So a good example of that is the, uh, the beetle jump where I'm dying a bunch. That never really caused any problems in practice, so... When it's acting up like this in a run, I don't really know how to fix it or make it better because I didn't really work on it because it always worked before. It's 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 weird the way uh, that speedrunning works like that in terms of practice. You never really go out of your way to be like, oh, why is this working too much? <laughs> there we go. Very scary. <clears throat> that bottom brown block is a bouncy block. So when you fall down to grab that vine, you want to make sure not to touch it. All right. So definitely lost like five minutes here. I'm really looking forward to like a one or two death run. That's going to be really exciting. Okay. Uh, once I re-remember this level, I don't really struggle on it too much. I don't think I die here. Actually, no. I think I do. I think a couple bad things happen. Right at the end. Which is, those are the worst deaths, man. You got to have one of those deaths that like early on in the beginning. Yeah. <sighs> When I died there, I think I said something. I think I made fun of the creator and about the setup there, but like the setup's fine. I don't know why I mentioned anything. It was like I blamed his setup for causing me to die, which like isn't true. Like, which also the setup never changes. So if I just learned it, I'd have nothing to shit talk, right? It's just fucking Kaizo trash talk. <laughs> All right, I think I do much better here. And see how much more clean it works out when. When you go. I should have died there, man. That turtle was definitely off screen. I got lucky there. And the tornado troll. And then I got lucky again not getting three flowers. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Not a bad level. Ooh, okay. The next level too. So I'm still in this like learning curve with this next level here. And I do a little cheese that is really only like a one or two second time save. So it's like not even worth it. But like it's so super swaggy. And I've been doing it great for the past couple, 
for the past couple nights. Sorry, I'm just really concerned about all my flies and movements here. Yeah, everything looks great. I gotta practice not having to kill this guy. That's a time waste right there. If I could just hold on to him and then build P-Speed. Okay, so here's the trick. So what I do is I go under, duck, and then I clip, and then I jump out of the wall, and then I go up in that little area, and then I go in the pipe. Whereas you're supposed to bring the spiny, break that brick, use the Goomba to jump off of him, and then go down and into the pipe. Um, but I just do a clip and wall jump. So that was the first time in, in all my practice where I undershot that jump up onto the other muncher path. So I took this opportunity to say, you know what, whatever, I'm gonna actually test if I can full big jump. Um, because if I could full big jump out of the wall, it would be easy from that there on. I, would, I wouldn't have to practice it and it would be a consistent method, so. I can't remember what my results are, so it's really good that I'm watching this right now. All right, let's see, so get the clip again. Get the jump. Oh, I missed my A press there. Shoot. All right, let's let's uh, let's just kind of fast forward there to the next attempt here. Okay. Do my normal kill. All right. Do the swim. Well, I wonder if I get a good test here. So I do the duck. Clip. Jump. There you go. That looks pretty clean. That looks pretty good. So that definitely skips a little bit because I'd already have the damage boost and I would slow flutter down there to throw the spiny break the block bounce on them bounce on the goomba as well so i think that's a cool little trick all right this is 100 percent so we have to do the hands the hand levels are just like explicitly set for trials they're just little little trials little uh little objectives here and there but you gotta not rush that one. And I knew that too. I knew that I shouldn't rush that. I think I'm not super hyped on this run anymore because of all the deaths, but the run's still pretty good, so it's not too bad. Ooh, that undershot too. That's pretty rough. So two deaths in here, three deaths. Big time saves. There's time saves in world two, three, four, and five. I'm excited to run this tomorrow. <laughs> I'm very excited. All right, this is hand number three. Get the star. Normal trial level. I could save a bit of time without any turn backs. So this is where I use my first star. Uh, Ryukar uses this star as well. Ooh, got the double kill, nice. Uh, but I think we could find a more optimal like if I could just brute through that battle and then use that star for let's say the uh, boss bass level I think that might actually be better. You guys definitely leave a comment uh, in the section below if you guys uh, After watching think there's a better place for me to use uh, One of my stars and the second star Ryukar uses is inside this level right there um, I do not use a star there because I found a really really cool uh, little sequence break time save trick that's not in the world record at the end of the uh at the end of the run it's like the second last level so that's it's gonna be really cool to show you guys what it is it's really cool and this level is tough man lots of left and right movements i'm super into it ah and i missed my a press dude that is such that's a really big time loss right i mean this level's super long it's fun to watch though Everything seems pretty good too. It doesn't seem like I need to practice it. The more I die on it, the more I just work so hard to not die. So it's almost like these runs still provide a lot of practice for me. I think that applies to a lot of speedrunners too. Except for that death. And I think I die on that a second time. Watch, we're already there. I think it gets me again. Let's see. I think that Kaizo block gets me. Yep, got me again. And I think that... Yep, and then the Kaizo just got me. Alright. I think this is the clear. I think this is the clear. Also, the first death that I did, I was very close to the end of the level. I was very close to the end of the level. Alright, so... So far from what I take from this run is that, you know, every single mistake that's made is all my fault. Um, it's just uh, it's just the, the Kaizo trash talk that, you know, we all do. Um, lots of big time saves, um, a lot of in-level strategies, just simple cleanups that uh, leads me to be ahead of the world record. I technically 
should be able to be ahead of the world record after the first world and stay ahead with all my tricks. Um, but it's, it's, it's a harder run now, right? If I do more speed strats, it just gets harder and harder. So it'll be a working progress. Um, so you need a cloud to get past that sand tile. Um, and then you get the ship and then you get the hammer and then you do the mushroom house and you get the beautiful, beautiful flute. So the PB I'm going up against, I still died in world eight. Plus in this world eight, I lost already an additional four minutes and... 35 seconds so i think i can save six or seven minutes in world eight that's pretty good six or seven minutes right on i don't know this game well enough to know what is the most possible time like i think if ryukar didn't die he would probably got a, a 28 a high 28 and the world record right now is a high 30 so most of his strats were pretty quick um and i think he died only three times so what you're seeing right now is like mitch you were in world eight what's going on so i used a warp whistle to warp me back into world two where i had a hammer and i broke a lock went into the pipe which i couldn't do before but now that i have the hammer i can and this is what's a part of the hundred percent if this wasn't hundred percent i would have fought bowser in world eight right there but instead i did the secret path to get the warp whistle to go to world two to do the airship of world two then the airship of world two i'll show you takes me takes me to world three and then inside world three we get another warp whistle from the mushroom house these are just like little stations they're like little transfer stations. nothing's going on here you just go to world two you beat the airship then you go to world three you get a warp whistle then you use the warp whistle again and then you go to the special world right here so this is the first level in special world Special World, Star World, I can't remember exactly what. Um, the the way momentum works with the uh, with Raccoon Mario is super awkward, so I'm always hating on the mistakes that I make. Because when you fly and build speed, a lot of the times your speed is just always reduced. You can't stay full speed all the time when, when, when having P-Speed. So I get really annoyed when that kind of comes back and bites me in the ass. It really, really bothers me. <laughs> you see that Mario's feet didn't even move? Good game, Nintendo. Good game. All right, so this trick is really annoying because I missed it, man. And then, like, I'm already, like, 50 seconds in the level. So, like, there's a minute. Easy. But this level's really cool to watch. It's like a mini sky tree slash do other things, not just only sky tree. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's really cool. The discoloration in the vines is an indication of where Kaizo blocks are. If I had tried to jump up, I would have hit Kaizo blocks and would have been locked out. The vine actually eats the Kaizos and allows you to jump and climb through it afterwards. So That's what keeps the vines. Um, also, remember I mentioned how you have a timer on your P-Speed? Well, there I built P-Speed when I didn't want to, and I want to get the trick, so I need to extend it and then jump. All right. Good, good. So yeah, all those areas, those are Kaizo blocks. So there's five Kaizo blocks in that section, which is pretty funny. It's to prevent you... Well, no, the other blocks were normal blocks, but yeah, it's to prevent you from cheesing it, right? Um, I am running on version 1.2. When this first came out, I found a couple cheeses and caused the creator to create an extra version, which is good. That's good. You don't want to leave things he doesn't want. This is where I think I get screwed over really bad. No, okay. La that was last run. My... Flight speed got reduced so fast that I couldn't make it back up. Boom, boom. I like this level. Really long, though. Really long. I did it quite fast, and I still ended the timer on a 2.16. It was over a minute long. All right, so the, the cool new sequence break is coming up, guys. Uh, it was something that was never used in any previous run. I can use this to save time in the level. I, can, I save about five seconds in one of the levels. And it's one of the levels where Ryukar died in, so I can even I can save even more time on top of the world record. So I'm very excited. So what happens is I get a mushroom from the Hammer Brother, and I equipped it for this level. And the reason I do is because I'm normally supposed to get a mushroom from that block, but because I already have a mushroom, you know how Mario works, I get a feather. I get the upgraded version of the item. And if I keep that upgraded version, I can kind of make this part a little bit easier on myself. Nice. Also, this level's really cool. Like, look at this. It looks like Super Mario World in Mario 3. This is, like, the best hack ever. 
Nice. I hit the switch. That's a troll right there. If I hit that switch but grab the orb, then when the timer runs out for beating the level, I actually die. It counts it as a timeout. I don't know. Okay, so I get this bro. This bro is also a mushroom. Okay. So this is 100%, and I save that star, right? So I'm going to use my star here. This is really cool. Never been seen before, so this is the first time you guys get to see it. I use the star here. Don't have to worry about taking damage. I duck jump fly. I go up top. Build P speed. I fly because I abused the mushroom and got the feather. And I use the star, so I'm skipping the whole ultra star level. Right? I come back down. Right? I damage boost again. Jump up and over. Drop down. I messed up a bit there, but I saved it. Level's over. Really awesome strategy. That troll bomb, nice try. Always scares me. I'm super happy about nailing that strat. That's the first time I was able to nail it in a run, and I've messed it up uh, in some previous runs, so I'm really happy about that. But yes, that is, that's gonna be a very good uh, little time save. It makes a very stressful level much easier. So, oh, watch what happens. Oh, nice, okay. This level's so freaking cool, guys. Look at it. Isn't this level so cool? I love this game. Please, GDQ. You gotta get it in there. Oh, this game is so cool. Two different Bowser stages, too? Like, in Mario 3? Like, when does that happen? So, this level always gives me the works. Um, there's gonna be a, a point soon whenever I really get comfortable with it. Oh, yeah. Block going through blocks. Awesome. Oh, my normal Kaizo trash talk I got going on. Sometimes I say the most ridiculous things, like, I'll blame, like, a friggin' star in the sky for something, right? Like, speedrunners are so funny like that. Okay, looking nice and clean. Okay, preemptive throw, good jump. Alright, don't die here. Alright, made it over, grab the block, grab this. Lots of memorization, man. Every, if you mess up one trick, one jump, you lose. Because the cycle goes, like, all off. Very nice. Very nice. So, it appears to me, because you guys already know I got a 44. So, Bowser takes me a minute. I don't remember killing him first try. Okay, so you do the head Bowser jump. Get off of him. And then I slipped off, right? They get so frustrated at stuff like that. Okay. Next Bowser fight. Let's go. Come on. Okay. I think I'm safe here. Yeah, take that, Bowser. Okay, two-shot Bowser. Pretty good. Considering Bowser's really scary. He's really scary. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my breakdown I am going to start speedrunning this game uh, every day in the future after my Mario 3 runs. You can follow along with me. I stream every night. It's about 4 o'clock my time, so 6 o'clock Eastern PM. I might be playing around with 100% all collectibles. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? I want to make it an official run. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown. I hope you learned some stuff, and I hope to catch you around in my streams, and you guys have a good day. See ya.